So you rolled a mage mage. Now there's no doubt that this is one of the most popular classes, mage mage. Um, it has unrivaled DPS. There is absolutely no other class that can match the mage mage's uh, DPS. So, I, I, absolutely, if you're if you're looking for just straight destruction, go with the mage mage. That I can't say anything bad about them. Uh, you can either go bleed, you can either go crit. Um, just just absolutely great. They are wonderful. Now, when I ranked the uh the classes mage mage fell at number three and i'm sorry but it is still number three in my opinion now uh why is that simply because uh early on mage mage is very squishy and very vulnerable that's not to say that he's not any good um you can go from start to finish with the mage mage. I just believe it's a harder route to take uh, because of the way the way the game progresses. As early on, you become you are reliant on abilities, and then you're building up gear and stuff like that. But defense is so important, in my opinion, as you're going through the game until you get your gear up, until you're able to like 40-40 gear. When you start 40-40 in gear, then your defense is able to absorb a lot of uh, the attacks that start coming your way. Now with uh, with Mage Mage, you only get uh, Magic Shield, which is, you know, it's the best defensive ability, but it can only mitigate so much. Um, now, going later on, if you want to just use the Mage Mage uh, for farming, that it's good. It's a good option. <clears throat> However, I still don't think it's the best option, especially especially there there are two things that changed the mage mage and that was the um the sinking where you cannot desync your orbs anymore with the astral set and then the breaking of the set bonuses so you you lost so much dps as the mage mage especially with orb farming so Orb farmers were always mage mage, crit, run in, blow stuff up because you had those eight orbs. Well, when they when they didn't allow them to desync anymore, so you just had a lot of damage with four orbs, and that that hurt mage mage. And now that the set bonus is completely broken, it has really hurt them. And and what I want to do is I, I want to show you what farming and this is a this is just a prime example of how farming it orb farming is with the mage mage now of course i'm bleed so as a mage mage you're probably if you're going to be farming you're probably going to want to go crit now to uh compensate for for all this what i what i did is i put in knee dog i put in um extra stuff to give me a boost you know i put in uh, a different helm i put in a a different uh chaos star in order to boost up my magical damage to where it's not it, it's about a hundred million above where i sit uh no it's about 80 million above where i sit at uh with the archer with the mage archer but this is it's i've got more ability points i think i've got three more ability points with this setup so it, it's kind of a a good representation of what a mage mage's damage would be it's not going to be perfect but it's just to show you um what farming is like as a mage mage now you would go in and you can see i can run around and and kill stuff but sometimes I have to wait for those orbs to hit and sometimes they they don't see how 
things are starting to get away or it doesn't kill all the time. And when you start doing keys, you, you don't want to have to backtrack. And I find that happens a lot with the mage mage because you you can't kill as quickly as a mage archer despite having way more damage it doesn't matter if you're one or two shotting things because the orbs can only hit so quickly and a corpse explosion just becomes crucial with farming uh at, at a quicker pace so the they just aren't as effective and in my mage archer video I'll, sh I'll show the same thing uh farming as the mage archer in fact i might just go ahead and switch over now and let you see so uh first off i want to talk about infusions now I i'm not going to go over this very much you know if you're doing crit 3 ds's Put in if you're seasonal. Put diamond headband into everything, except for you know your weapon, which is go going to be astral sword with DB forty forty. And and you know if you're not seasonal, you're going to put DB into everything. This is going to be regardless if you're bleed or if you're crit. And then if you're crit, you know you'll be using spellbound and. Uh, seasonal i guess you'll be using the seasonal neck or certitude or uh bone necklace and um or equilibrium i know people are still nuts about equilibrium so i'll go ahead and mention it but uh, as a bleed mage you'll be using chaos bands and um you know infusing db of course you're gonna have your speed in there and you're gonna have your uh your guillotine and stuff so it, it, it's all it's all very basic most people know setups for mages so i'm not going to really get in that but uh as you can tell it 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 kills but it just doesn't kill like as quickly as you would want and now and again this is only this is only r15 this is blacklands one and um so when you go to keys it's of course they're going to have more health and everything so it, it it does really start to make a difference so just to show you oh yeah also abilities now with any purebred you're going you're going to suffer from having way way too many ability points and nothing to do with them so as a mage mage, you're basically going to fill out uh, magic shield, uh, magic missile, multi-missile, magic orbit. Those are going to be your main ones. And of course, you know, teleport. So you have all these extra points you can put in wherever. If you want to if you want to have uh, build up a mana bomb build, you can put points all in there so you'll be ready to go if you just switch out gear and stuff. So Ability points is not going to be a problem. You're going to have so many of them, you're not going to know what to do with. And that's pretty much with any purebred. So, let me go ahead and switch over to Mage Archer. And I'm going to put in Empower and Corpse Explosion. And then I'm going to put all my Mage Archer gear on. And take off Knee Dog. Put on Equit. So yeah, 308. So it, I had, you know, 75, something like that, more million DPS. So let me go ahead and dungeon reset. Now, Mage Archer, this is my normal farming, and I'm going to show you why it's so much better, because I don't have to use anything. Of course, I had weak R right there, so that sucked. Um, corpse explosion really helps, as you can tell. Well, weak R is kicking my ass right now. Thank you, weak R, for making me look bad. Let me get in a, a better group. <laughs> so, yeah, see, they all died due to corpse explosion. I barely even hit them. Let me see if I can get some more guys. 
so you can get a better idea see how they all just drop so you really only gotta like run through and hit them once and then they die due to with me due to bleeds but if it was crit they would all be dying and then of course explosion would be hitting them and they'd be blowing up and that's the other thing i don't really have to backtrack because they will die in a group if one dies then they all die so there we go and you can see how effective corpse explosion is on weaker enemies it just is a lot better than having hit them with the orbs and i wish we still had eight orbs i really do because that that hurt the mage archer too and it's i don't know i, I just think that they need to fix set bonuses and all that which i guess eventually they will but you see how they all just died at the same time and of course this is going to go for anything now with me i usually don't farm this high um because it's not guaranteed hits. I mean, not guaranteed kills with one hit. I usually don't farm them, so I usually farm between... Up until like... Um, 440-ish or so. Um, and let me show you the difference in this with... This is going too long, so I'm not going to show you the difference. But just, just know that farming with corpse explosion is going to be quicker now there's nothing wrong with mage 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 is wonderful um it's just not the better farmer and it's not the better progressor the mage mage is going to kill it in dps it's going to kill it with bosses it's going to if you want to go farm r20 r21 r22 mage mage is the way to go because they can just do so much damage that, you know, enemies can't do anything. Um, you haven't made a wrong choice with Mage Mage. One of the best choices out there. So, if y'all have any more questions on this, just let me know.